Microsoft says October 14, 2025 is the end of the road for Windows 10. And sure, you can keep using it after that date. But let me be blunt, it's not free. In fact, staying on Windows 10 could cost you hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Not to mention your data and privacy if you're not prepared. Today I'll show you the hidden costs that nobody talks about and exactly how you can avoid them. And trust me, the last one could wipe out your files overnight. Cost number one, paid updates. Let's start with the obvious one, Microsoft's Extended Security Updates, or ESU program. They're basically saying, hey, we're done giving you free updates. You want to stay safe? Pay up. For home users, expect subscription style pricing. Microsoft is already offering one year of updates for about $30 per machine. Not bad until you realize that stacks up year after year. And multiply that by every device in your house. Now, Microsoft has a sneaky trick here too. You can technically get the updates for free if you link your Microsoft account, enable OneDrive, and set it to back up at least one folder like desktop documents or photos. Once you do that, boom, you're eligible for the ESU program. Sounds great, right? Except now Microsoft has its claws in your files, your cloud storage, and your habits. And if you don't like that idea, your only other option will be to pay an IT shop to patch things manually. And spoiler alert, that won't be cheap. And don't forget, once you start linking your Microsoft account and cloud storage, you're feeding them more than just $30. You're handing them valuable data they can use to profile you, upsell you, and lock you deeper into their ecosystem. The updates aren't really free. You're paying with your information. So that's cost number one, reoccurring bills just to stay secure. But that's nothing compared to what's coming next, because this next cost won't show up on your credit card. It'll show up when your computer starts to die on you. Cost number two, performance and hardware costs. Here's where it gets sneaky. Old Windows 10 machines aren't going to get updated drivers. That means your printer, webcam, your Wi-Fi adapter, all those things you rely on could suddenly start acting up. Or worse, stop working altogether. So what happens? You panic, you go out and grab a so-called cheap replacement laptop. Except, cheap today means disposable plastic trash. You'll drop three to six hundred dollars on a machine that barely lasts two years. And guess what? You'll be right back in the store before you know it. If you'd planned ahead, you could have upgraded your current machine smartly. Maybe added some RAM, swap the hard drive for an SSD, even look at a solid refurbished business PC that'll outlast the junk that Best Buy tries to sell you. And let's be honest, these cheap laptops aren't built to be repaired. Soldered RAM, sealed batteries, disposable parts. Compare that to business-grade hardware from just a few years ago that's still running strong today. It's the difference between throwaway consumer junk and something designed to actually last. Instead, Microsoft nudges you into premature spending. And nobody wants premature. Well, you know. But listen, as bad as spending money on junk hardware is, it's still nothing compared to what happens when the hackers come knocking. And trust me, they will. Cost number three, malware and repair costs. This is where I've seen people lose real money. Once Windows 10 stops getting security patches, every hacker on earth is going to target it. It's like leaving your front door unlocked with a neon sign that says free stuff inside. What happens when you get hit? You'll pay someone like me or a repair shop $150 to $250 a pop to clean it. Or worse, Ransomware hits, locks your files, suddenly you're staring at a $2,000 ransom note. And here's the cruel truth. Cleanup isn't always successful. Sometimes your files are just gone. And you want to hear something terrifying? Hackers don't just target big companies anymore. They've automated this stuff. Your grandma's Windows 10 PC is just as likely to get hit as a corporate server. And here's what a lot of people don't realize. The hackers don't even need to target you directly. 
they just spray the internet with automated attacks looking for outdated systems. If your PC shows up, congratulations, you just won a one-way ticket to infection. So not only are you out of money, you're out of time, which brings me to the cost that almost nobody talks about. Cost number four, lost time. Most people don't think about this, but time is money. When your machine goes down, it's not just about repair bills. It's hours, sometimes days of downtime. You can't pay your bills online. You can't access your email. You can't hop on a Zoom call with your family. For retirees, that's stress you don't need. For small business owners, that's lost revenue. You can't always put a dollar amount on it, but you sure as hell feel it. And yet, as frustrating as lost time is, there's still one cost that beats them all, the one that breaks people. Cost number five, lost data. This is the nightmare scenario. You stay on Windows 10, skip the backups, and then one day, poof! One bad update, one malware infection, one hard drive crash, and it's all gone. Family photos, tax returns, business record, work projects, Years of your life erased in seconds. And here's the kicker. Professional data recovery starts at $500 and can hit two grand or more. And even then, there's no guarantees. So the real cost of staying on Windows 10 isn't just a Microsoft subscription fees. It's not the $500 you wasted on a cheap laptop. It's not the $250 repair bill. The real cost is your peace of mind and possibly your life's work. And honestly, that's a price nobody should have to pay. So here's the bottom line. Staying on Windows 10 after October 14th, 2025 is possible. But if you don't prepare, you're not just risking money, you're risking your security, your time, and your data. Look, I'm not saying you need to panic, but you do need a plan. Whether that's moving to Windows 11, switching to Linux, or hardening your Windows 10 machine with the right tools. Doing nothing is the most expensive option of all. That's why I put together my ultimate Windows 10 end-of-life survival checklist. It's a free step-by-step -step guide that shows you exactly how to protect your system, secure your files, and avoid getting burned by these hidden costs. Hit the link in the description, grab your copy, and save yourself a world of pain. And hey, if you found this useful, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. Because trust me, the worst thing you can do is wait until October 14th, 2025, and do nothing. And remember, my friends, back up your stuff, keep your systems patched, and above all else, stay grumpy.